At the end of this video, you'll know how to find templates, how to fill out a template, and how to use auto notes. To begin on a client's chart, locate the new note button at the top of their activity log. Selecting this button will open a blank text field where you can leave a standard note within the client's chart, then select Save, Sign, and Lock when finished. To find progress notes or the profile documents, after you have selected the new note button, select the note dropdown. Scroll through the list of documents to find the document needed for your session. The document will open in a new window. Any document selected from this list will work the same way. There is client information that will be pulled in from the chart towards the top of the document, as well as the date of service and the provider. When you see red text, that text is notifying you that there is an auto note section and the red text area will not appear on the final saved document. Auto notes within best notes are selectable buttons on the right hand side. When you select an auto note, it will open a new window. The top section is the formatting for this auto note and may also give you additional information. In this auto note, we will start with the stop time field. This is where you will enter the time the session stopped. Then you will enter the duration and select the service provided. If it is applicable, you can enter the service billing information, but this field is not required. Then you would select the setting option, which defines where the session took place. If you select other, please provide additional details in the other setting text field. Then you select the mode. Was this client seen in person? Was it a video telehealth in home? A video telehealth out of home? telephonic or electronic? Then you will select the participants who participated in this session. You can select more than one option. If you select the family member option, please note who the other attendees were. When you are finished filling out the auto note, select Append and Close. This information will be added into the progress note. Next, we have the initial diagnosis and master diagnosis. The initial diagnosis will pull in the initial diagnoses that were documented in the assessment. Likewise, the master diagnosis will pull in the master diagnosis that was documented in the master treatment plan. Then you will select the data auto note. You will see the client's full list of goals from the master treatment plan, the master problem list, and a list of objectives. Please note that if it is not clear what a section is within the auto note, you can refer to the top section for more information. Once you have completed filling out the auto note, select Append and Close. The information entered will be pulled into the data section of your progress note. You will need to make sure that you are selecting every auto note available to help complete your sections within your progress note. For example, the data section has two auto notes. Be sure to select and fill out both auto notes. Next, you will fill out the assessment auto notes. This includes the mental status, risk, and level of care status auto notes. The last auto note is titled Plan. You will have the option to save, save and close, close and save, sign and lock. Templates are not auto-save documents. If you have to walk away from your computer and lock your screen, be sure to select Save or Save and Close to save your work. If you don't and your computer reboots or closes your note for any reason, you will lose all of your documentation. If you select Save and Close, you will be able to locate that document within the client's activity log. To update and finish the document, select the date of the document. Then select the Edit button. This will open the document and allow you to continue from where you left off. When you are finished filling out the document, select Save, Sign, and Lock. This is the equivalent to the published snapshot in a med clinical document. This will lock the document from further edits and allow you to sign the document. An on-site system administrator will have the permissions to unlock documents if a mistake was made or if the document was not completed before it was locked. Now you know how to locate a template fill out that template, and how to use Autonotes. If you have any questions about templates, you can reach out to Best Notes Support 